If you're considering moving to Gig Harbor or the Southwest Puget Sound area, there's no denying that this area has an explicable draw, what with the outdoor activity and the beautiful scenery. But just like anywhere, it has its downside. Living in Gig Harbor is great for some, but is it the right decision for you? Let's find out. So you're thinking about moving to Gig Harbor and you wanna get the pros and cons of living in the area. Hi, I'm Sarah Husby with Sound and Harbor Homes, your local navigator, home matchmaker, and relocation specialist. This is my personal list of pros and cons of living in Gig Harbor. Before we get started, just a reminder that if you wanna catch all my future videos, make sure to subscribe and that tap that bell. All right, let's get started. First up, pro. Nature, nature everywhere. The nature and greenery surrounding this area is abundant and possibly the biggest draw for most people. From the treetops to the mountaintops, the Pacific Northwest is breathtaking. There's a plethora of outdoor recreation options. You can go hiking, biking, swimming, boating. There's so much to choose from as you step out your front door. One day, you can hop on a ferry and head to an island to explore or head to the city for some entertainment. A short drive and you can be at the Pacific Ocean or in Canada. There's no shortage of activities to do around here. We also have phenomenal summers. We have some of the best summers in the country. Humidity is non-existent, temperatures are mild, and sunshine is reliable in the month of July and August. Con, weather. It does rain a lot around here, but that's why it's so green and beautiful. True fact. It doesn't rain as often as some people think. We don't even rank in the top 10 in the nation for the rainiest areas, but what we do have a lot of is the constant forever looming gray clouds. The sky is gray most months of the year, which makes winter feel very long. Pro, great career opportunities. This area has an astounding amount of career opportunities, especially in the tech industry. In fact, Seattle, one hour commute away, consistently ranks as one of the top 10 best cities in the country for jobs, thanks to the strong job economy in this tech-centric city. Some of the biggest tech companies in the entire world are clustered in and around Seattle. We're home to Amazon, Boeing, Starbucks, Nintendo, and Microsoft. Over the past few years, a handful of other notable companies moved to Seattle, like Adobe, Google, Apple, and Facebook. Con, traffic. Now that more people can work remote, our area has become even more desirable. We've always had a migration of people relocating from California and Texas, but recently we've experienced quite a bit of movement from the Seattle area because you get more for your money here. The population has grown from 9,000 to 11,000 in just the last three years. Due to the increase in population, the traffic has increased a lot. If you're commuting to Seattle, sometimes you can expect up to a two hour commute. There are public transportation option, options like transit buses, shuttles, the sounder train, and of course the ferries. Highway 16 gets backed up during high traffic times and side roads continue to be affected. Traffic has become a guarantee in your daily life around here. We've had an increase of roundabouts replacing intersections to keep the traffic flowing. There are many that gripe and complain about them as several people struggle to understand how to use them. Due to the increase in traffic and depending on where you live, you might experience more frequent road noise. So. Keep that in mind when you're house hunting. Pro, the incredible food, spirits, and coffee scene. Local restaurants are all about quality ingredients and using local produce, and you can taste the difference. The seafood dishes are some of the best you'll find in the country. We have the fifth highest concentration of restaurants in the country in this area with diverse culinary scene. Spirit houses have been popping up for quite a while now, whether it's a unique brew, cider, or hard spirit you're looking for. We have several to choose from in this area. Most notably, Heritage Distillery and Seven Seas Brewery are just down on the waterfront. If coffee is what you desire, we certainly have a number of incredible local coffee shops. 
If you go beyond the chain, you'll find wonderful, cozy places that you can get some incredible Java. My favorite are Cutter's Point, Kimball's Coffee, and Davenport. Con, high cost of living. Seattle is considered one of the most expensive cities in the country to buy a home, and we're not too far off. This is definitely something to consider if you plan on moving to the area to settle down long term. Renting is expensive too. You'll find an apartment around $2,000 and you can go all the way up to four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 for a house. Pro, no state income tax. Washington is one of only nine states in the country that doesn't have a state income tax. Con, what we do have is an extremely high sales tax and excise tax. Pro, no major climate issues. Our water tables are healthy and we're not in a high fire hazard area. Con, politics. We are a blue state and depending on if you're a conservative, liberal, or anywhere in between, this may play a factor if you wanna be here or not. This area tends to be a mix of blue and red. So I would say for Gig Harbor, we're purple. Pro, no major bug problems and we're very dog friendly. We really don't have a massive bug problem here. So you can easily spend time outside late into the evening. Just make sure you have your mosquito repellent on. A lot of people have dogs here. Even our coffee shops cater to providing puppuccinos for our four-legged buddies. You'll see dogs at restaurants, cafes, parks, and even handful of workplaces. If you're new to the area and looking to meet friends, a great place to go is the dog park or on walks. Con, the freeze. Lifelong residents take pride in what Gig Harbor once was and sometimes dislikes newcomers. If you're feeling the sting, I suggest befriending other newcomers, but get involved in your local community and put yourself out there. Attend local events, volunteer, join a book club, or find a workout group. Personally, I love it here. It's a great place to raise a family or retire. You have the small town feel and you're close to all the amenities. You can live downtown and be social or out on the farmland and be remote. We're close to the airport for those who love to travel and offer a slow pace of life living near the water. Depending on your wants or needs, there's a lot this area offers. I hope you found this helpful. If you're thinking about relocating the, to the area, check out my relocation video, or if you're really serious, reach out and I'll send you my relocation guide. Just click the link below to my website, Sound and Harbor Homes, and I'll be sure to get that out to you. Any questions, reach out. I'd be happy to be your guide. Have a great day, everybody.